Hey everyone, this is Derek with Reef Automation. And in this video, we're gonna go over a little bit of how I go about dripping my Kalkwasser. I've had a number of people ask about how to go about doing Kalkwasser, some tips and tricks to it. Um, I thought I would go through what I do and I find to work uh, best for me. Um, obviously, for some of you, you might not need to drip calc, but in my case, I have a calcium reactor and for some reason here in my garage, my pH of my water gets quite low. I have found uh, doing calc wasser has increased my pH significantly from roughly 7.8, 7.9 to 8.2, 8.3 on a daily basis. And I have noticed a huge growth spurt in my corals. So if you can maintain your pH, uh, calc wasser is the easiest and most effective way to do it. And I'm going to show you how I go about doing it. So I bought the uh, Geo's Reef Calc Wasser. Um, let's just say it's not really a stir. It actually has a pump uh, here in the back, which I will try to get to. Um, so it's got a pump that goes down into here, and then it has your standard CJ pump, um, which is really nice because it's nice and quiet. And what I do is every time. I would say every four or five hours, I have it run for about a minute and it stirs up the calc nice and it mainly keeps the calc uh, at the bottom here and stirs it up to about midway point and then you get this nice clear uh, mixed liquid up top here. And what's really nice is this particular reactor has a pH probe port. So what's nice is calc washer typically sits at around 12 pH. And if I know my pH is, you know, 10 or 9, that I have to refill my calc. So it's really nice and convenient uh, and, of course, automated. So what I ended up doing is I ended up getting a Camor uh, FTX um constant duty pump which you can sit back there most people use this for a calcium reactor but i'm using this for my calc washer because it's nice and consistent and it drips it at whatever rate i want and of course i can connect to it with my phone i can set it up from here but it's sitting back there so how i have this running is i have you know my rodi which is over here in this tank and it's getting pulled into the camor the camor is then pushing the uh, water into the geo here uh, through the black tube. This black tube you'll see has a check valve because we don't want it to go back to the Camor. And then I have it coming out of the Geo all the way around into my tank here, which I will show you. So I have it just dripping right next to my calcium reactor drip. Right there. So for those that don't know, my calcium reactor comes on and off throughout the day. That's why you're seeing a constant flow and you can actually hear it from my dose in there. So we'll give it a second and you can see that I have it dripping along with the calcium reactor. It's a very slow drip. Uh, I would say it's about, I'm going at about two and a half to three milliliters a minute. And it works really well for me. Um, for those that uh, don't use calc washer or haven't used it before, you're going to want to set up your drip rate to less than your total evaporation. So for me, I noticed uh, from a number of tests and trials and all kinds of things that if I drip it at about this rate, which is roughly 3 milliliters a minute, uh, my ATO basically just picks up the slack. So my ATO is right there and it will pick up the slack. Uh, from my calc washer drip. And I've found this to work really well for me. Um, as we will come over here, you can take a look at my pH, which is 8.25. Uh, I might not be able to see it too well, so we'll go over to my uh, apex here. You can see my uh, pH is about 8.25, uh, and it's pretty constant. You can see 8.1 is the lowest that it got there. Um, and this really, really has worked for me. I used to use a CO2 scrubber that didn't do much for me. I used to try an outside line to my skimmer that didn't work for me. Um, this ended up being uh, my saving grace uh, in terms of getting my pH going. 
and I highly recommend it to anybody that's looking for uh, raising their pH. Um, for me, I had to raise my pH so much because of my calcium reactor that it's stable at about 8.1, 8.2. So for those that have a, a higher pH, let's say 8.2 or 8.3, um, I guess you could put a Kalkwasser um, drip on your tank, but I don't really see the necess uh, necessity to spend the money on this um, just because you already have a high pH. But for anybody with low pH issues, this is just a easily one of the best products I've ever purchased. I find the Geo to be fantastic because it uses a pump and not a stir. Um, since it only um, runs about once every, like I said, four or five hours, um, I don't really worry too much about it. I mean, one day I'll probably clean out the impeller, but uh, so far it's been bulletproof for me. It mixes just fine. It just mixed before I did this video. Um, and it works really well. So hopefully uh, you liked the video, and if you did, uh, leave some comments below. Hopefully learn something from the video, and if you have any questions, just leave them below. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.